I'm forming up the flap and the aileron support brackets. These are the ones for the rear spar. And since I don't have a press and I don't have a brake that could form steel of uh, 72 thousandths, I am using the hammer forming method or the beat it to death method. So I've got a forming block I made, three quarter inch wide with rounded corners. And I bent one of them around it and checked what the angle offset was. So you, when you bend something, you it always springs back a little. You don't get exactly the angle you bent it to. And so it was off about five, a little more than five degrees. So I put a six degree angle on here. And so now when I bend it around this angle, I'll bend it at six degrees past and it comes out to be just about vertical. So it works pretty good. <clears throat> and I've got three of them done. I don't look too bad. Definitely come out uh, nice and square. So I've got one more to do. It's uh, got the layout lines on here that I used to cut it out, and also the layout lines for the sides. So I'll just center this block up in, in, in between those two in my vise. I'm going to put a spacer here on the back side so that I don't leave vice jaw marks and then I'll force it over with the hammer. Alright, that's all opened up. I'm going to clamp it really tight. Okay. It takes a lot of force and I'm using a drift so that I can get the force right down around the corner and try to bend that flap over and it'll come out straighter than if I just beat it with the hammer. It's down pretty good, so that should be that side. Let's take it all apart, and I'll just check it to see if it's close to square. It doesn't have to be perfection, but it comes out pretty darn close, so yeah, we look good. And any minor things I can clean up by using the anvil. After it's fully formed, I can straighten out some walls a little bit. Now flip it over and do the other side. So after forming, normally the two legs won't be exactly the same height. Um, you know, just there's a little errors in it. And so I take it over here on the uh, bench sander and I even them up. And then after I've sanded them smooth or even, then I'll take them over on the D burn wheel and remove all the tool marks and polish it up. So there's the pocket that's on the drawing. So I've got that all done. So this part is done. It just needs to be deburred and cleaned up.